When I see that, I feel like you were just going through pictures and you're like, oh my God, all these people had died. Is that true? But why are you pointing to her? Because for Christmas, she I did was... it something like all the... I did like each pictures from the, the mother, the father, the... Aunt. From all the dead people? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, sir, I gotta come to you. Your father passed? Yep. Can you stand up? Because he just said to me, that's my son. And let me tell you something. When I'm connecting, your father looks like he could kill me on the other side when I'm speaking to him. <laughs> he was a tough guy here in this world when I'm speaking to him. But first of all, I have to tell you that he literally was pulling me over to speak to you and connect with you today. And first of all, he goes, Matt, he goes, I need to let my son know that first of all, how proud I am of him on the other side. He says, and also I want to thank him for the way that he has stepped up to take care of the family after my passing. He's bringing that through. You know, what's crazy is, is that your father, first of all, goes to me, Matt, I didn't know that my son was into this, he says to me. <laughs> but what's crazy, you're telling me no, but wait a minute, I'm not done yet. <laughs> your father tells me that he hears you talking to him and that there's times in the car when you'll have little conversations with your dad. Is that true? Please know that your dad says to me, Matt, I've heard every word. And when I'm connecting with him, he says, Matt, the one thing that I wish that my son did not have to see was all the things that I went through here in this world when I'm connecting with him. Because this man suffered before his passing when I'm connecting with him. And when I'm connecting with your dad, right away, he's put me back in, my, in, in his body, and I keep, feeling like, I keep feeling the feeling like I can't breathe when I'm speaking to him. He says to me, Matt, you need to let my son know that I can breathe on the other side because when I'm connecting with him, I keep he seeing him going like this <sighs> here in this world. What's also crazy is your father keeps telling me he's got the dogs with him. The dogs are there. So were those your dogs that had passed? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's all right. Listen, I'll never forget years ago, I was, I was in New Bedford, right? And I was reading this person. I'm like, I'm like, there's this man that's coming through with you. I'm like, and he keeps telling me, I keep, I keep having to say, Henry, Henry, somebody say Henry. And the man's like, I don't know who that is. I've never heard that name. And his wife goes, honey, that's your name, Henry. What are you talking about? <laughs> he had no idea. So know that one of the things is that's your dad's way of bringing that through on the other side. He's actually connecting when I'm connect he's actually telling me when I'm connecting with him that your dad was very smart here in the physical world. He was extremely self-taught when I'm speaking to him. I feel like this man could fix anything when I'm connecting with him on the other side. And he says to me, Matt, do you know that my son is that same way? He takes after me, he takes after me, he's telling me. And your dad says to me when I'm connecting with him that there's still tools that you have of his. So did you keep his tools here in this world? So. So know that your dad wants to thank you for that because he talks about the tools. He's also telling me there was a house that was built when I'm speaking to him. In Portugal, yeah. Okay, so he built that house? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Do you know that your dad says to me, Matt, I learned how to do this myself. I learned how to do this myself, he tells me. And that's why from when you were younger, your dad tells me it's just a little boy. He used to try to teach you what he was doing. Do you understand that? Pretty much, yeah. Bullshit, because your father says to me when I'm connecting, I just saw you fixing a sink when I'm connecting. Did you just have to fix the sink? <laughs> and your father says to me, he, he feels like I didn't teach him nothing. He goes, but I saw him fixing that sink and your dad was talking to you in spirit. And he says to me, Matt, at that time that you were fixing that sink, it's like you could hear your dad telling you what to do. It's like you just knew. Those were from all of the years. Because your dad knew what he was doing. He says to me, Matt, every single time I fix something, anything, I did, I, anything that I touched here in this world, I used to take that as a teaching experience to teach my son. Because he says to me that he wanted you to know everything that he knew here in this world. But your dad tells me this. He says to me, Matt, can you please let him know that in spirit, not only am I there and I guiding him, but I want to thank him for the way that he always kept his family close here in the physical world. He says that meant everything to me. And wait a minute, did your mom pass as well? Because he just said to me, her, his mother's here. And he keeps saying to me, Matt, do you, can you believe he, my son didn't want to talk to me? He wants to talk to his mom. Yep. <laughs> and I got to tell you something. Your father goes, he had time with his mother. He didn't have time with me, he says. Your father tells me this. He goes, Matt, from when he was just a little boy, you had to take on so many jobs and so many things here in this world. And your father says to me that you stuck by him from when you were just a little boy helping him here in the physical. He says to me that that's something that he will never forget. Because what was so hard 
is your dad tells me that you did not get to have much of a childhood here in the physical world. He says, my son started working at a young age. You had so much responsibility at a young age. And that's why when I was telling you about you taking care of the family, you had to because your mom had passed. Know that your dad says to me that that's something that he will never forget. And I got to tell you that losing your mom was the hardest thing for your dad here in this world. That was something that I felt like that he had never recovered from. Because he says to me that in spirit, he wants to let you know that they are both there together. And they're both here watching over you. This is his way of letting you know from the other side that not only is he okay, but also that your mom is there. And that he had to let you know that this reunion in heaven was one that happens the moment that he had passed away. So know that he says, he says that when you feel like everyone's on the other side or everyone had passed away, he said, please know that when you go back through the pictures, oh, this is what he's telling me, sorry. He keeps showing me what I'm connecting about um, photo albums. I didn't know what he was talking about. I see photo albums with all dead people in them when I'm connecting. <laughs> so when I see that, I feel like you were just going through pictures and you're like, oh my God, all these people had died. Is that true? But why are you pointing to her? Because for Christmas, she I did it something like all the, I did like each pictures from the, the mother, the father, the uncle. From all the dead people? <laughs> yes. No wonder why. Listen, I don't know what your loved ones talk about, right? I'm not in your houses every day. I, get, I don't Google this shit. I tell you what they tell me. Yeah. And, he's tell, and he's telling me about, this, about these photos, about all these dead people. So you made a book of him or... or uh, because I don't have any picture from her mom and dad. I said, I'm going to do something for Christmas. I did three years ago. The Godfather, the favorite people that he likes. As well. <laughs> and I bring a picture from the wedding today. So please know that what they're acknowledging in spirit is this. They're telling me from the other side that when you looked back at those pictures, right, and you saw everyone that died in, in heaven, please know that that's, your, that that's your dad's way of saying that that's what heaven looks like. Everyone is there. They're all together. And they are safe and at peace. All right? Please give him a round of applause. Yeah. Sir, I want, I want to thank you for coming here today, and I really hope that this helped you.